In this video, we'll be learning how to play the game Make It Big or Make It Little for use in speech sound disorder homework. We'll be playing this game using the app Articulation Station Hive. So to begin with, you can just press the letter that you will be targeting in your homework. Your speech pathologist will advise on what sound you are targeting. So we will be practicing this game at the word level. It can also be used for practice at the phrase and sentence level and your speech pathologist will advise when you are able to move on to this more advanced stages. So to begin with, we'll just press words and we'll press minimal pairs. Initial, because we're practicing our sounds in the first position of the word. So your speech pathologist will advise on what the target sound is, which is k, but also on what your child's replacement sound is. And these are the two sounds that we'll be contrasting in this homework. So for this example, I'm going to be contrasting k and t, so I'll press this. You'll see that there are all these sounds there and they're all ticked. Your speech pathologist would have provided you with a list of around five or six words which you will be using in therapy. So you can just deselect all of these and go and pick the words which your speech pathologist provided you with. Oops, not that one. Perfect. And we can begin. So you might like to start the game by holding the iPad yourself. And you might make one of the pictures big. And you can say, what did I make big? And if your child says T, you, can, you have to provide them with meanings-based feedback. So you would say, I heard you say T. T is what I drink. But I made the key big. A key is what we use to unlock doors. Another technique that you might like to use is what we call metaphon descriptors. So metaphon just means talking about sounds. So to use the same example, if your child said T, you might say, I heard you say T with the tapping sound. I drink tea. But I actually made the key big. Key starts with the coughing sound. K. We use a key to open doors. Perfect. So another thing that I will say about this is that when your child has a go at the target sound, so this is only when you've asked them to say the word featuring the k sound, you can mark them as either correct or incorrect and this will track their dosage. So, for example, if they said key correctly, I would press the tick, and you can see that a number comes up here. If they had said it incorrectly, you can see the number on the right goes up, but the number on the left stays down. So we want to keep going until this number on the right gets all the way to 50. But remember, you only want to press these two buttons when we've asked the child to say the word featuring the target sound. Not, for example, if we'd asked them to say T. So another, another way to play this game is to let your child be in charge of the slider. And then you might ask them a question. You might say, what did you might make big? And if they say T, you'd say, well done, you said tea. I drink tea, but you would not mark these as they did not have a go at the target sound. But if you were to ask them, if they did this again and you were to ask them, what did you make small? And they said tea, you would say, oh, I heard tea with the tapping sound. I drink tea, but you made the key small. A key is used for opening doors. And that time, because they attempted the target sound, even though they didn't say it, you would mark the dosage. And when you're sick of these two words, just flip 
and you can get new ones and keep going. Um, so that's all for our tutorial today. You can find the Metafon descriptors as well as some scripts for meaning-based feedback in your parent training hand handout. And don't forget to get in contact if you have any questions or need any assistance. All right, thank you. Goodbye.